Hi, I'm gonna do a quick uh, daily makeup, which I do every day before I go up to work. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like. So first, I take the dazzle, which is an only lifestyle product. Uh, we have now uh, have well, like two or three fragrances of the dazzle that is available. So first, um, I moisturize my face with Bell, which is also an only uh, product, and now I'm gonna. nicely missed my face you know what happens because of the misting is that uh, uh, since I don't use foundation every day I just go in with a little bit of face powder uh, it actually um, absorbs very nicely it's okay so I'm going to use my Mac studio fix in NC 41 so I oscillate between 40 and 41 uh, 40 on, on a day when I'm going out and 41 on any other day um, and I'm looking for my puffy brush, but okay, let's do this. This is the brush that I will use today. It's a um, brush from, I think, some Eco Tools. Eco Tools, I bought it from the US when I went last time. So, just like, that's all I do before I step out. Uh, my skincare regimen is, <coughs> I'm sorry about the cough and cold, <coughs> which I've been having for a very long time now. But somewhere around this side, I have a zoom in mirror, uh, so that helps me see when I um, need to, you know, sort of identify where all um, I need to put in extra. Hmm? But. I think this much is usually enough for me i will tell you what i do with the you know after the entire makeup is done i go over some of the highlighting parts um that's a trick which i wanted to share with everyone also okay so sorry um uh, so that's that these curls i i get them done once uh, once every three four days and then it stays and it opens up slowly so they are they are uh, done at Jolly's salon um, and they're called springies and they don't look like springies anymore but yeah uh, they open out slowly and uh, so this hairstyle kind of lasts for about four days yeah so uh, I think the powder bit is done if anyone has any um, you know dark spot and pigmentation I would suggest to go in with a little bit of concealer before you apply the powder. Say for example, I have this area which is a little dark, which I usually don't need to conceal, but I will do it today just to show you guys. So I have this Huda Beauty concealer. Uh, it's in a shade called, it's an overachiever concealer, which I am, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, but the toasted almond, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just, with my fingers and please don't look at my nails because I have to go and get them done just take a tad bit I'm going like that okay if at all the areas which need to be concealed more than the what the foundation is offering okay that's about it um now i'll do my favorite part which is the brows and uh, um, this is what my natural brow looks like and uh, don't worry see my hair this is my favorite blessing from my young mom it's my first and only gray hair um so now eyebrows let's see this is my entire vanity so you will see like lots of things and uh that and that and that so some other day i'm going to take you through uh, some of the items that i use regu regularly but uh, essentially in today's look you'll find a lot of things that i do almost every day which is this step is also something that i do almost every day it's called medium brown uh, deep brow pro mod from uh, anastasia beverly hills and these the, and this uh, puffy and this um, 
brush is also from Anastasia. Okay, so let's see the color. Something like this. Hmm? Um, I think it's. Uh, some people say it's a little too like um, smooth, but I like it like that. Uh, so I usually start from underneath. Okay, and then over. We'll correct as we go along, okay? So, I'm going into my other mirror, okay? Just so that I can do it better. Because on the phone, you really don't get an idea as to how to do the brows properly. Because I'm, I'm not being able to see properly. But anyhow, you look into getting the arch right. And the rest of it, you know, just follow the natural pattern of your brow, right? So, uh, mine looks somewhat like this. And this is my natural brow. Only I've just filled out the parts which are slightly emptier than the, than the rest. Okay, so that's one. And similarly for the other one, I'm going in the bottom first. And then the top. See, you know, just last year this time, you know, if you asked me about my brows, I was not really good at doing this. But right now, I am pretty confident that I do a fantastic job because I get a lot of compliments for my brows. But each brow is different, so really I can't tell you much uh, than, you know, other than the technique that I use. Uh, yeah, so while I'm filling, I do the poofy a little bit. And... This is it. Yeah. You can always correct the brows as in how you go along deeper into your makeup. Okay. So. <coughs> this is uh, what my brow looks like. Uh, now. Yeah. Uh. Now, uh, every day I don't do too much heavy makeup, but uh, even today I won't do it. But uh, what I'll do is now I will uh, just do a little bit of something shadow or something like that on my eyelid, uh, which I'll blend out. So I'll tell you what are the tools that I use for that. I have this brush. I don't know which company this is from. I think I got it free with something, but it's a really nice flat brush. You know what I'm saying? So. It's really thick and flat. I think one of such brushes is absolutely essential in uh, in your kitty. I'll tell you why, because it just picks up pigment uh, really easy. Okay, now these uh, chubby sticks are something that I pick up in a big quantity because uh, I love the ease of chubby sticks, okay? So just see how easily that got applied and uh, I'll blend it all a little bit so that there are no harsh lines yeah. and for that this brush is absolutely uh, magical it quickly blends it out rather than taking it all over the place yeah. perfectly blended okay now what I'll do is I'll <coughs> take a little bit of shimmer you can take any shimmer that you like. Uh, I'm going in with brown, so uh, I'll take Huda Beauty ka um, nude palette, and maybe I'll take the shimmer color called Charmed, okay, which is this one. So let's put on that, and again, I request you to please pardon my fingers. Yeah. So the chubby stick, oh, I forgot to say the name of that, but let me just check. Well, it's Kiko Milano and it's one of the many ones, okay? Um, you could that they have a huge range uh, and maybe you can go as per your choice. Uh, okay, now... Uh, my favorite trick is that uh, a lighter color, maybe white color pencil um, in the under eye. Uh, uh, 
in this lash line. I think it works wonders. Yeah, I think it really does work wonders. If you see your image, if you take a picture now and you saw your eyes, now you'll understand what I'm saying. It looks maybe a little funny now, but over the course of the day, your eyes keep popping up. I use a little bit in the inner corner also, just a tad bit during the day. Uh, which you can go up and down as per your liking throughout the day as you go along, yeah? Uh, I'm not going to do any any today because it's daytime. Uh, maybe if I do a day to night look one day, uh, depending on how you guys like this video, I will see if we can do a liner look maybe the next one. I do use the liner quite a bit, so... <coughs> Looking for my mascara, which I'm not being able to find. So, oh yeah, obviously when there is such a mess happening at your makeup uh, booth, then that's bound to happen. Okay, so uh, this is my Mac mascara. It is called 3D Black Lash. Yeah. It's really good. This mascara, is really, really good. You must use. Okay, so. Don't pump it too much because once air goes in, it's difficult to take out. But again, I'm going to look somewhere else and do my mascara. Is that okay? I don't do lashes unless I'm really going for like some... Like I'm going out for some major gig. And in a lit up room. Because otherwise, there's no point of wasting time and... Lash glue, I think that it stays on my lashes for like three days after the glue, and there's no point of it. So, I have okay lashes, not that great, but okay. And I think it's good enough to just, but then you know, the I cannot tell you how important mascara is for your overall look. Yeah, it's absolutely critical to have a good mascara. Um, depending on the kind of lashes that you like. Like I like a little bit clumpy and thick lashes. So go in twice, one eye this, then this eye, then again go back to the other eye. Okay. Don't forget the lower lash line. <coughs> That's it. Good. So these are my eyes, these are my eyebrows. What else? show you quickly okay let me do my blush and then uh i have a whole set of blushes that i have with me but i like these um master flush creators from maybelline they are really good okay they are super pigmented very nice um it'll be just bad if i use the same brush so i won't um this is a pack for 245 brush it's a smaller poofy type of brush um i'm going to take like a Wow. See, this is the color. I'm just saying that pigments are super. These are my real cheekbones. My own cheekbones. It may be because of the uh, fat in my body. It could be, but I like it like this. Little fluffy cheekbones. Yeah. Oh, I think I found it. The pen. Oh, no, this is not the one. Sorry. So, you remember the dazzle that I used in the beginning? Uh, the setting spray. Uh, it really actually holds your makeup together throughout the day. Now, I don't want to contour today. This Let this, let this tutorial be a very simple tutorial. Uh, everyone, this is my day to day look before I go to office. Huh? And it stays intact throughout the day. What I'll teach you now quickly is a trick that I I chanced upon. It's not just something that I had um, 
alone somewhere but i think maybe many people must be using this uh, process somewhere i i don't know I, if but nobody really taught me taught me yeah so i have this pack 3 on 7 brush and these kind of brushes you get everywhere um, and i'm taking a lighter color uh, studio fix like i told you that i i go between 40 and 41 so now I, i've used 40 uh, 41 on my face so i'm going in with 40 this little dab and then I'll draw out the parts of my face which I want to be looking sharp. Okay. So for example, I want my brows to look sharp, which I do obviously because I love my brows. So I will draw my brow out. Brow. Sorry. Just imagine me doing this live. Brow. My brow, my brow, brow. Yeah, then maybe some areas which I think need a little bit of attention, which I feel are my problem areas. For example, my nose. Okay. Because I broke my nose, remember, just a few days back. So, bridge of my nose, maybe a little bit. It needs to look sharp okay under eye for any leftover pigments of product that has stayed while you're doing this thing and under eye a little bit lighter than the rest of the face actually looks cute okay so that I'll do the full lip area. Why? So that I can draw my... You know, one, one step that I forgot is to prime my lips before I start my makeup. What happens is that it gets moisturized by the time you're done with the rest of it. Okay, so this, this thing you can guys try at home. Taking this flat, flat brush and just going over. Yeah. And then... Now the last step is my lipstick. I'm going to do a nude lipstick today because you know December and every day we are wearing a lot of bright lipstick again. So I'm going to do like a really light pink. I'll use the Huda Honeymoon. Okay, Huda Beauty Honeymoon. And see you need to line now. Huh? It looks like a bit bitten lip I sometimes like it what you can do is see absolutely not li lining is also not that great an idea because uh, the lipstick will go off wear off very easily so I have this color called Soar by MAC after I put my I'm putting this okay Ma just give me two minutes sorry that was my mother knocking on my door <laughs> like quite crazy bye 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 no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah, and then we'll do a proper video of lining your lips properly and like you know, really like thick lips uh, very soon, but not today. Uh, as you can see, that I've been called from various sections and I've done a 20 minute video. I don't know how I managed to do that and find time for it after so long. Um, so, if you guys enjoy watching it, then please write and comment and tell me that uh, if you want to see anything else uh, from my side. And uh, it was really, really fun shooting this video. Um, I will, I will, I promise I will try and do this more often. And uh, if you have any questions about the products or if you have any questions about anything else, <coughs> please feel free to write to me. And uh, uh, I'll see you soon and I love you guys a lot and please please keep supporting Oli Lifestyle like you guys do and just before I leave one last prayer of the devil <laughs> yeah. 
it's a makeup artist favorite in this part of the world and uh, once this uh, flush dries out then you'll see that your makeup is in place for the rest of the day and um, thank you so much for watching and love you guys